Hey everybody, tonight we got a floor function equation. Let me uh, review just a little bit uh, what the floor means. Uh, let's do the floor of six and uh, minus one third, okay? Y'all, this what this means, this is the mixed fraction uh, format here. And what this really means is uh, minus 19 thirds. It's written kind of strange, isn't it? But uh, that's minus 19 over three, right? And what this really represents, this shorthand way they do it in the U.S., I don't know if this is a worldwide convention or not, but this really means minus the quantity 6 plus 1 third. So it's kind of half-assed notation in my opinion. Okay, now this is equal to negative 7. All right, and to see that, just remember uh, minus 21 over 3 is another name for negative 7, right? So this is what they call the greatest integer function, and negative 7 is actually the greatest integer that is greater than 19 over 3, minus 19 over 3, all right? So that's the answer to that. Now, if you want to contrast that with um, uh, just 6 and 1 third, okay? Now, that just maps back down to 6 because 6 is the greatest integer that is less than six and one third. So you see, you're just going in the opposite direction on the left hand to the left of zero. Minus seven is the largest integer that is less than uh, minus six one third, just like minus six is the largest integer that is less than positive six and one third. Okay. Now, but the key thing to realize is that the floor function maps integers, maps always maps to an integer. It takes a real number and it always maps to an integer. So what you have right here is the difference of two integers, which means the right-hand side has to be an integer, which means x, any solution would have to be in the form 13m, okay, where m is an integer also. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go along. If we got any answers that weren't multiples of 13, we would have done something wrong because, uh, again, a difference of two integers is an integer. That means x has to be uh, a multiple of 13. Okay, let's move along. Now, this next step, I, I read it from the solution a document published by these guys, the Armel. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. They decided to write X in, in this uh, division algorithm format. It's motivated by the fact that 3 times 4 is 12, a common denominator. And uh, also by the fact that if you divide any number by 12, you get a remainder, R, that's stuck between, and these are all integers, of course. R and A are integers. R would be uh, stuck inclusively between zero and one okay all right so that's an important thing and also something that turns out to be rather important and you'll see i probably i probably should wait till we need it rather than write it down in an unmotivated fashion but you can write uh, x minus r over 12 equals to a also right now you'll see why you may already see why that's important but it turned out to be quite important to have another representation for A here, all right? Now, so what we do is divide uh, by three to get this and divide by four to get this, and then we can rewrite our problem like this. It's kind of cool, isn't it? So everything's looking good. And now a bunch of repetitive casework is gonna ensue. Um, and so uh, for R equals zero, you can see very quickly here, this part would be zero, this part would be zero. You would have the floor of an integer minus the floor of another integer, but those integers are 4a and 3a respectively. So 4a minus 3a is the a that you see right here. And of course, the only way that can happen, this can happen here. And by the way, you, you equate right here, if r is zero right here, if r is zero right here, you get x over 12 right here, right? So the only way this can happen, of course, is if x is equal to zero, which you could have seen by inspection at the beginning of the problem. All right, now let's take care of r equals one. Let's take care of r equals one. And again, I hate to keep saying this, but we're, we're, we come back up here, we're using x minus r over 12 uh, right here, okay? Now notice this is still uh, x over 13 right here because if you put r right here, this would just be one third, right? And so the floor of an integer plus one third is just that integer, right? So you get 4a minus 3a. And again, the same for one fourth. 4a minus 3a is still uh, a, right? So you see nothing. It did change, but it's just the floor didn't change, okay?
Okay, and so when you solve this, you will get x equals 13. And now something similar happens for two, and I want to spend just a little bit of time on three to make sure I'm being clear about this because I didn't show you, I didn't try to write all this out every time. It's too, it's 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 much too clunk, uh, you know, gaudy to do that. Do that, but we end up getting a plus one here, and you probably can see why when r is three, when r is three, notice you would get, and I'll remove the floor, you would get four a plus three over three, which is just four a plus one with the um, floor brackets removed, right? Because again, when R is three, you just got an integer inside of here and the floor of any integer is just the integer back, right? Okay, but now with the integer, with the integer three right here, you, you would still have, you would have floor of three A plus three fourths, right? But that is just equal to 3a, right? Isn't that cool? So you can kind of see, and this kind of thing happens all the way through the problem, okay? So you see how you would have 4a plus 1 minus this 3a right here, okay? But that is where exactly where this a plus 1 came from, okay? All right, so that's, that's, the, that's the little twist that happens and you have to, there's a little bit of work to do the algebra here. I didn't, did not show the work, but it's easy to verify. You can check that minus 117 works right here. Okay. Uh, you can verify that yourself, I'm, but it does work. I double checked it. Okay. Now, and it's the same all the way through, through ladies and gentlemen. Um, now I rewrote all this stuff out so you could check it yourself, but you can see how it toggles back and forth between A and A plus one all the way down. Okay. And it's just because of what I mentioned earlier, when you change from multiples of three to multiples of four, you're gonna have changes in the floor levels, okay? So y'all, all of this greened out stuff is uh, are the answers, right? Uh, the green solution, zero, 13, 26, minus 117. And I think some stuff got left out. Uh, you didn't end up with plus 117 for some reason. I don't know if it's just a little bit of sy uh, lack of symmetry or something, but whatever it, it, it I only got one minus 117 once uh, and the rest of them I think pair up pretty nicely see how you have 65 and minus 65 and like that you know so anyway these are the solutions I got folks all the green answers I'm not going to write them down in one handy location for you uh, and again check some of these if you have any doubts uh, like uh, let's see is there one close by yeah let's go ahead why not let's check uh, Let's check six, why don't we, since I went to the trouble to write it down here, okay? So when you get r equals six right here, this would be this would be the same r equal to six. Okay, when you have r equals six, this would be four a plus two, uh, floor brackets removed, right? Floor of an integer is an integer. And it's kind of the same thing we've already seen. And then right here, when r is six, you have uh, 3a plus 1 floor brackets removed, right, folks? You see, if you have 6 right here, this would be 3 plus 1 and a half, okay? But the half gets chopped off, right? So this would be 3a plus 1 with the floor brackets removed. Okay, and let me go ahead and be, uh, all right, like this, right? But you see, that is the A plus 1 that you see right here, okay? And again, a little bit of algebra going on here, not too much to get to minus 78, okay? So, and again, you can check that if you want, but I have double and even triple check some of these things. I'm pretty sure I got them all right. But let me know if you, if you find an omission. Anytime you do 11 computations like this, Chances are some, there's a screw up somewhere, okay? But anyway, thank you for your viewing. I hope you enjoyed.